Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to the channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And for those of you that have not yet done so, you know, please hit that subscribe button. Also, please hit that like button as well. And to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, please check out the links below. Now, our topic for you today, it's how to improve gym sales skills, how to improve your skill set in gym sales. And so if you're an individual uh, salesperson, you know, listen up here on some things that you can do to improve your business. If you're a manager, if you're, if you're leading a sales team, take a look at these and this can become an agenda, you know, for future training. And so number one on our list, how to improve your sales skills. I hope this one goes without saying, but attend sales training. Okay. Now, if, if your company is not providing that, you know, use this channel. You know, we have nearly, you know, a thousand how-to videos, you know, on this channel on how you can improve, you know, selling and how you can improve your selling skills and how to take your business to that next level. So attend sales training, but do it daily. Do it on a regular basis. I, I look at sales training. It's not a whole lot different than your customer in your gym coming in to work out. You know, if they come in and work out on a pretty regular basis, they're going to get some pretty good results. If they do it sporadically once every couple of weeks, you know, probably they're only going to get sore. In a manner of speaking, so will you. Okay, so attend sales training. Use this channel. If your company is not providing it, use this channel for regular sales training. Um, number two, implement role playing. Okay, role play this. Okay, you know, role play it with family members, with coworkers. You role play the telephone inquiry, role play the the uh, the um, the sales process, role play you know asking for the sale, role play the second sale, the third sale, role play how we're going to follow up, how we ask for a referral, role play all of this because you want to commit it to memory. And again, you can search you know here on the channel for all these topics and, and what they look like and how they need to sound. But, you know, role play, it's a great way to do it because what you want to do is you want to be able to memorize this material. You want to know it so well that you're now free to be yourself. That's the idea. Role play it. Don't find yourself practicing on the paying customer. Number three, practice public speaking. You know, when you get out and you speak in front of the public, you know, it's a great way to build up uh, confidence. It's a great way to build, I think, self-esteem. Uh, it's a great way to you know really communicate with your audience, have eye contact, and things of this nature. What I would suggest is join a networking event. Okay, there's an awful lot of benefits to joining a networking event, but one of the great benefits is every week, at least for a couple minutes, you're going to be speaking in front of a group of folks. This will help your selling skills immensely. Um, and I know when I first started learning some of this and practicing it, you know. I, I practiced, you know, the public speaking. I'd get up and speak in front of a group. And it wasn't always about this. It could have been about something else. Or even in front of a mirror with a tape recorder going, okay, uh, you know, recording what I was doing just to make sure it was coming out the way it needed to come out. You know, join the local Toastmasters, you know, in your area. It'd be a great way to do it as well. And not only is this a great way to get some, some practice public speaking to really kind of refine what you're doing, you're also going to build your your uh, your network, and you'll probably get some new sales out of it. Uh, number four, find a mentor. Find someone who's willing to help you. Find someone who has been through this, who's done it, who's willing to help. Okay, you know, again, you can use this channel for this. This channel can become that mentor for you. Um, you know, if you want to contact me, we offer uh, a complimentary uh, free 45 minute strategy session. Happy to talk to you about how we can help you even more long term, you know, with something like that. But find a mentor, someone who's been there, someone who's done it before. Okay, uh, not someone who's guessing, someone who's been there. Uh, number five, ask lots of questions. Ask lots of questions. You know, hey, what did you say when they said this? How'd you handle this? How do you overcome this? Because, you know, too often, you know, particularly if you're new at this, there's a misconception of what some of this is, I think. You know, we think we need to be that great talker. We need to be silver tongue, so to speak. And really, that's not really true. Okay. We want to be great at asking questions to our customers and finding out about them. But we also want to be great at asking questions about, hey, how do we improve? What do you say? 
I know one of the things that I used to do when I was growing up in the business and a salesperson and having success at it, we'd always hang around and work out at the end of the day. You know, we'd be out there in that free weight room. We're pushing weights and doing this, but we're talking about the day. We're talking about how I saw you did this. How'd you handle that? What'd you say? How'd you get them to do that? Okay. So ask questions. Number six, become a student. Become a lifelong learner. Become a student of sales, a student of people, a student of the industry, student of fitness, a student of your business. Always be learning, okay? Because you want to keep this fresh and you want to keep it new and, you know, continually learn. Again, you know, this channel can be a great way to do it. There's over a thousand videos here on the channel, you know, to help you do this. But always be learning. Become a student of this, okay? Uh, number seven, improve your prospecting skills. Improve your prospecting skills. You know, as great as you might be at sales and might, as great as you might become, the chair's got to have people in it. you got to be talking to people. You've got to have ways to, to fill that pipeline. And, you know, if you're not using a CRM, get one. I know a lot of clubs have them. They don't use them. They don't use them properly. Okay, but you know, make sure we're prospecting. And here's the big message I would say with prospecting. We're not out looking for people who are ready to buy. You're gonna get those just as you're out there working. What we're looking to do is we wanna create interest. We wanna you know, create desire. Then we wanna maintain that interest and maintain that desire. And we wanna kind of move people through this process. But we're always adding new people you know, to this database and set some quotas. Okay, I want to I want to bring in ten new leads a day, ten new ten new prospects a day. Okay, maybe it's just simply from referrals. Okay, maybe it's you know kind of regenerating former members, but improve your prospecting skills and just always remember on all of this. Really, what we're trying to do, we're trying to solve problems for folks. We're trying to provide solutions. We're trying to provide value. And then finally, um, on improving your sales skills, review your sales calls. What I mean, every presentation that you make in sales, every person I talk to, if I don't sign them up, you know, we want to use a tour log sheet. And again, you can, you can research the channel here for a tour log sheet uh, on how to properly use that. And we want to understand, hey, if this same person essentially comes in again, how would I handle it differently? Because we need to make sure we're accountable. The customer is not accountable here. It's up to us to build value. Because if the customer is not buying, at the end of the day, really what they're telling you is based on what you want to charge me. I don't think it's worth it. And so it's on us. How do we get better? So review every sales call that you make. You can do the same thing on telephone inquiries, on follow-up calls, on referral presentations. If it didn't go the way you wanted, what could you have done differently? And what will you do differently the next time you do it? Because if we don't correct that mistake, we're going to keep making it over and over and over. And that's not where we want to be. That's going to be, you know, uh, a failing situation for you. So review those sales calls on a regular basis. What worked well, what didn't. Make sure you're accountable. Don't be holding your customer accountable. All right. So how to improve gym sales skills. Okay. Take a look at these. This can be a great way to really jumpstart uh, your sales performance and your club sales performance. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company's fitness management and consulting. Again, you can learn more about me with the links below. Uh, if you've not yet done so, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button and we'll look forward to seeing y'all in that next video.